Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own thrums using Lion Brand's 50-50 yarn. Now these are what the thrums look like and you're going to use them in my bulky crochet mittens. These are the thrums. You actually crochet them into your mittens so inside it's super warm and fluffy. Now 50-50 yarn is actually from the LB collection and it's 50% alpaca, 50% wool. Now. When you look at this, it's a very luxurious yarn and it's very loosely spun. So you can actually untwist it like this. So what I want you to do is untwist the yarn so that there are generally two pieces like this. And then you're gonna pull off a chunk. I would say about eight inches long. So it's gentle, you're gonna gently tear it so you're gonna tug at it. Don't take a pair of scissors to cut it. You can just gently tear it like this. And then you're going to overlap the ends like this and pinch it in the middle. Now you've created this loop. You're gonna roll this between your fingers to agitate this wool. And then you can rub it in the palm of your hand like this. So you are felting this middle part so it becomes pinched and you're gonna actually crochet this portion into your mitten so that the loops will hang on the inside like this. So that is how you create a thumb, thrum using the 50-50 yarn. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add in your thrums for my bulky crochet thrummed mittens. As you can see, these little white puffy hearts are actually the thrum stitches and they look so cute, it's very cozy inside, they provide a lot of warmth, and I've already made my thrums over here. So what you're going to do is, I'm gonna work a thrum stitch here, so you're gonna insert your crochet hook, and then you're gonna grab a thrum, wrap it around your crochet hook like this. Now I like to keep the ends of the thrum out of the way by pinching it with my thumb and my middle finger, Then you're gonna yarn over, pull both this strand and the thrum through, like this. Now you're gonna notice that you have a regular yarn, thrum stitch, regular yarn. So this is what we are aiming for. We're gonna yarn over and pull through. So here you can see you've created this beautiful thrum, and then we're gonna see that again. One, two, three. So let's see how to work that thrum stitch one more time. You're gonna insert, wrap the thrum around the hook like this. We're gonna yarn over and pull through. And once again, we have regular, thrum, regular. I wanna show you what happens if for some reason it gets mixed up. So if you accidentally have the thrum on the top and then your two regular yarns at the bottom, it gets muddled. So if you yarn over now, you'll see that this kind of pokes through and it's not as clean as if there's, when there's just a thrum stitch like this. So you wanna make sure that this is not poking through. So I'll just show what you are supposed to do once again. Okay, oops, no, not yarn over yet. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it around, yarn over, pull through, and this is what we're aiming for with the thrum stitch in the middle. Yarn over, pull through, and then your thrum stitch has been locked into place like this. So you keep working around in the pattern to include these thumbs in, thrums into your mitten. This is the child size for my crochet bulky thrummed mittens. And now I want to show you how to work an invisible decrease with uh, just normally and then when you need to do an invisible decrease with a thrum stitch. So first let's start off with the regular invisible decrease. You're going to insert your hook into the first front loop and then the second front loop. You're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So this is a regular invisible decrease. Now I'm going to show you how to do it with a thrum stitch. So you're going to insert through the first front loop insert through the second front loop. Next you're gonna grab a thrum, wrap it around your crochet hook, you're gonna yarn over and pull through those two front loops. Then you're gonna yarn over and once again notice it's regular yarn, thrum, 
regular yarn and pull through. So now you've worked an invisible decrease and a thrum into that stitch. <laughs> 